Welcome back, Doug Addicts. I'm going to go over some lures again tonight. Uh, I didn't get a chance uh, last night, um, excuse me, Friday night when we, we last talked with you. I didn't get a chance to, to go over a plug that I left on the, on the desk here. And uh, I had a question about the Paul Brown. I, the one that, that I really did well with uh, last year, uh, we have a neighbor down the road from us here at uh, Keaton Beach, uh, Eddie and Margie Richardson, and, and we took Eddie out fishing on the uh, airboat one day, and it was a cold winter day, and there was a certain pocket I wanted to fish where we had been catching real nice-sized large trout. And uh, since it was Eddie's first ride, he ended up having a really good day. It, it, we started off in this cold, cold, nasty, foggy, and Monica said, why did we have to leave so early? We pull up in there. There wasn't any water at this spot. We didn't have five inches of water under the airboat. And uh, but we sat there for probably an hour. And by the time the water got up and got straight, by that time, I, it turned around. I said, look behind us, honey. There was 27 boats behind us fishing this area. And we started throwing a, a lure that I had gotten previous to that trip, maybe six months before that. And that's called a slick. If you go online, you can see different reviews and people using the slick. This is a really good bait. Well, this Paul Brown has one just like this, same shape. But for you people that know about it, instead of having this uh, worm hook type set up, this is a five art. It has a treble hook here. And then again, when you're fishing down there, it's tough to keep your grass off of the bait uh and, and so what good is it i can't understand why you can have a little piece of grass hanging on the bait and they won't bite it but these hooks dangling doesn't seem to bother them one bit at all that kind of that's a mystery i've never been able to figure out but this paul brown when you do fish it uh it has a big eyes and i like the fact that it has the big eyes i, I mean excuse me the slick when you fish it has the big eyes like the paul brown uh, one of the things about it also is here in the, in, in, in the bottom, see this, where you've got this opening. So the hook can pop up in there. You can take, which I love to use the, uh, all purpose inshore, uh, oh gosh, what's the name of that stuff? Procure. And I squirt it up in that bait and I rub it on the outside as well. But when that fish bites, you've got a big, large, see that so way that hook sets up there? Try to put it on the back of my desk so you can see that. That right there really will hook into the fish and you won't lose many. But when they do hit this bait, don't be in a hurry to set the hook. Give it a second, let him take it. I've got some photos which I'm gonna eventually put up and post later, but this bait is down in the throat's mouth, a fish's mouth in his throat, excuse me. You got this soft, texture and they bite it and i'm assuming the reason they do take it so deep so quick because it's not a hard bait uh another this is some of the colors has the pink they have various colors i have i need to buy some more i had the all solid pink ones which I, i've gone through all of those there's another company out there called uh trout trick and uh i think that was the name of this this one here this comes out of texas it's got the chartreuse tail. Here's another one of their baits. You see the googly eyes on that? They wiggle, the big old eyes. Those I put on myself. Uh, and in the back of this bait, you can see that little hump where well, you don't see it in this one. Up under this belly, there's a little, I put a rattle in it. And uh, I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but I've caught quite a few trout on this particular bait as well. And I just put these little googly eyes on it. I bought it uh at Kmart, uh, you know, Walmart, when I'm saying Kmart, I'm, I'm confused here on my different places tonight. And it's got a little different textured tail. Uh, they're both good, tough baits. They, they hold up very well. And that, that large hook offset really does make a difference when it comes to, to getting a, a, a hook up in his mouth. But when you do get that strike and you feel that thud, so to speak, like something's tapped the top of your hand, pause a second, Take the slack out, and you kind of have to set the hook like you're uh, freshening for fresh water 
uh, largemouth bass, you want to pull it and really set it hard to them. And it mostly gets up in this part of the mouth. It doesn't get down in the corner very much. So you get a good hook set. Uh, we talked about these uh, baits from uh, Academy Sports, this hover shad. Make sure when you read the package that my wife bought two of them on sale. One of them is a slow sink and the other one's a fast sink. And when I had changed these hooks out, uh, I didn't realize that they were two different lures. I didn't read the package when, when, uh, when I was changing them out. This one sinks very slow. This is a pink one. This one right here, it says fast sink on it. It sinks like a rock. So you can have to fish it in much deeper water if you buy that one. And she only paid uh, $2.89 for these lures. So she got a good deal on that. I guess it must have been a closeout. Uh, let's see. What else do we have to talk about? Oh, I talked the other day about changing out the hooks on the mirror lures. The uh, um, uh, God, Let's see which one was it. The little small one. I don't have it on my desk here right now. The uh, Miradine and Miradines, the ones that are shaped like this one. They, they, uh, I got the hooks. They said that the website sells the uh, VMC hooks. And I got those hooks from, uh, uh, I bought them online and I got the VMCs and I paid, gosh, I paid about 10 bucks, I think for only eight hooks. Okay. And they're supposed to be heavy and they're supposed to make the baits sink. Well, I put them on the baits and they didn't do as well as I'd hoped they did. I was, I bought, uh, one art and two arts. The two arts will make them sink. Uh, the fatter one of the mirror lure, I think it's the mirror dine, it didn't sink at all. It stayed on top of the surface. So I guess you have to keep those treble hooks, those VMC treble hooks that they have on them to really make them go down and sink well. Uh, what really disappointed me too was I could have bought uh, 30 in a pack of the just regular, I guess, knockoff type brands of those inline hooks, but they were only like, $10 for 30 and I paid $10 for only eight of the one art. Then today I was putting the two arts on a couple of lures and that package only had seven in the pack. Well, 90% of the time when you change these lures out, you're going to have two of those inline hooks per lure like this. So I've got an odd one out unless I had a lure that would, would support three of them. So I feel like in a way I got kind of ripped off on that deal. Uh, I had a comment from uh, from our weekly. He says, uh, want your life when I retire. Uh, oh, and your skills. Let's see the instruction videos on your fishing uh, technique. I know you can teach after watching all the cleaning videos. I appreciate that. But let me tell you, buddy, after you retire, there's going to be more things on the bucket list than you thought you never catch up to do. I wish, uh, I wish I had more time to, to fish. Every time I had something on my bucket list, I wish I was a day on the water. Uh, and also realized, wow, thanks for all the hits for Monica with that, uh, that red in the air boat boat video that we did. Uh, we got, a, seems like a lot more hits on that than we did on the, uh, just these vlogs that I do. I told her we need to put her in a bikini. And then we get millions like these other people do. The videos aren't much, but they sure got a good lead in to make you watch it. The, uh, the uh, ones that we have, we will be getting into more of those type of fishing. People do like more of us catching a fish. I'm, I'm more into learning about how to do it than I am watching a guy go out there, throw a lure and bring a lure to the bait, uh, to the boat. I saw a video today and I'm not going to mention who the guy is. He's, he's he actually, he's got his own TV show. He's even bought some of our knives. Uh, I used, I worked beside him at the Miami boat show one time and uh, he was impressed with what we were doing and bought some of our seafood cleaning knives and he threw out. And in this video, he caught a snook and he caught a trout and all, but gosh, when he hooked up on the fish, he slammed it and he's hollering, he's screaming and he's pulling and he's cranking. And I'm thinking, golly, slow down. Enjoy the tug. Don't be in such a hurry to get the fish to the boat. Play the fish. Enjoy the catch. There may be times of the day that you only catch one or two fish, 
So enjoy those few one or two fish that you do catch because uh, you don't always get out there where you hammer them every other cast. It makes a big difference. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> oh, my gosh. My wife's in the other room sending me something. Change my hooks out. In parentheses, husband knows every everything wife has in tackle box. <laughs> yeah, what reason she's saying that? These are these were her two lures. Uh, she went into Academy Sport and I sat in the truck. She came out with these two, and I said, "Well, where's mine?" She said, "You didn't want to come in." So from now on, I guess I'm gonna have to go in shopping to get a good deal. Uh, well, guys, I, I want to send off here tonight with the, uh, the nostalgia things we do. I thought these were some cute ones here. Uh, catching the fireflies could happily occupy an entire evening. And I don't see any of those around anymore. And the other one was uh, having a weapon in school meant being caught with the slingshot. There we go. I remember we used to make our own slingshots from a tree branch. A lot of the guys that, that watch our stuff on YouTube or the Democratics, Democratics are on this thing, so it's like uh, 35 to 45. So a lot of these nostalgia things y'all probably won't even know about, but it's uh, it, was a, it was a simpler time back then. Well, guys, I appreciate y'all coming in and watching us tonight. Hit the bell and hit the bell and subscribe. Go to our website and influence the page and, and leave some comments and questions, and we'll see you tomorrow night. Don't forget, catch, catch you can't catch them on the couch, and don't forget to take a